rolling down the street, rolling on my twenty toes. Bangkok is huge. The Thai people are extremely friendly. Most people here are what we would consider very, very poor. Selling things on the street, driving tuk-tuks. There's never any place where people aren't. People are everywhere, which makes Bangkok like alive all the time. To be a complete fighter when it comes to Muay Thai, you have to be into the spiritual side of it as well. You have to know where the basis for all the moves came from, all the techniques. And a lot of that stuff is based in the Buddhist culture. The temple is kind of a real important place for fighters. So damn hot out here. It's like 300 degrees. I don't know. Weird stuff's going on around here. Some Buddhist stuff. Just when I go shopping. That's one of the greatest parts of Thailand, is the food. It's awesome. I should have got a granola bar. You should have, but you didn't. So now you're eating Ox's tongue stew. I love the food. She won't eat any of it. And you know, if you're not going to eat it, fine, don't eat it. But you don't have to... Oh, ew, oh, you better not eat that. Is there like rats down there walking through like the dishes? If she's disgusted with something, which is pretty much everything, just keep that to yourself. This is other people's culture. Appreciate other people's culture. We haven't been getting any training done. We've been too busy doing press conferences and meeting with dignitaries and that kind of thing that we haven't had a chance to train. Our biggest concern is the humidity and the heat. The air is so heavy, it's, it's hard to get used to. So the most important thing, since we don't have that much time before the fight, is to get acclimated. It's been over a week now since we've hit anything. I swim because of my foot. I have to do something to keep my stamina up in this environment here, so this is my only option. I spent a lot of time in the room watching TV, waiting for this fight to come. It's hard wanting to be on vacation because that's what it feels like for me. I'm sure that me being here is a huge distraction for him. My foot, I don't know. It's just really tender. And the, the weird thing is, before we got on the plane, it was only underneath. It was only underneath my foot. And now it's mostly on top. It's a little worrisome. I haven't hit anything in far too long with my left hand, so. I don't even know what to think about it. I'll get it done though. I'll just get in there and do what I do. Mansot is where the fight is. It's up country. It's right on the border of Thailand and Burma. It's up in the sticks. It's pretty remote. This is one of the famous training camp here in between Thailand and Burma. They have to be the greatest fighter to be able to be in this school. We train the whole year 
for the American fighter. Probably when the typical person sees their training, they would think they wouldn't be able to compete with us, but actually that is better training. Their equipment may not be as nice, but that's not what the training is about. Their number one focus and goal is to fight. It's a way of life. It's what they do from the time these guys are six years old. That's all they do, eat, sleep, and breathe Muay Thai. Are you afraid of American fighter? Go on, go American man. No, he's not afraid. No afraid. No afraid, uh-huh. They believe the rougher that you live, the hungrier that you'll be. You know, they call it living like a fighter. They're gonna be coming at us. The day before the fight will drive you absolutely nuts. You're about to go to battle. You're preparing for battle. You just want to get in the ring now. There's no winner unless there's a knockout. Why do I do this? The guy over there is going to try to hurt me. He, the guy that you're going to fight, you kind of look at him, you got to check him out, you know? Keep those away from me. Keep those away. You kind of run through things. Okay, look at his jaw. Look at his nose. Look at his eyes. Look for that look that a fighter has. Jean-Ben Garcia. 66 kilo. You kind of start imagining their technique in your head. All you have to go by is his physical appearance, which doesn't mean anything in this game. You have the most fit fighter and he can get beat on any day of the week. I talked to Kit for about two minutes today. It's scary because we're out in the middle of nowhere and if something does happen, I mean, it only takes one time, one punch or one kick and, you know, something that could be seem like nothing could be fatal and being out here there's there's no hospitals that I've seen so it's, it's scary he's kind of in his own world the reality of it is just it's brutal actually show them, look, I really know your sport, and I'm good at it, then you get ultimate respect from them. Before the fight, you're really solemn, you get that jaw grinding, like you feel mean. Ben gets that way too. I don't know, you can just see bad intentions deep in his eyes. I think it's normal to be nervous, actually.